first official event today as new general manager. Uh, what are you looking for personally from some of the players here at this tryout? I, I'm really just looking for them to uh, to show show us what they have. I mean, come out here, do the best they can, and really show their athleticism and. Uh, and the quickness and the speed so we can get a proper evaluation on it. Seeing, seeing old faces is always great. You know, I wouldn't say they're old. I, I, I wouldn't wait too long, but, you know, it's, it's good to be back where, you know, I know people. I, I say keep playing. You know, play as much as you can and continue to get in front of people that are going to evaluate you and, and make decisions. Football, playing football is your resume, so... If you're not playing, it's hard for us to see if you can play football. I mean, you can come to the trial, which we want you to come and see so we can get evaluation. That's just one part of the picture. But we also want you to continue to play football. So that would be my advice to them is just continue to play. It doesn't matter where you're playing at. Well, we feel like we had good talent here last year. We just couldn't stay healthy. It was one of those. It seems like about every fourth year we have we go through a bunch of injuries. Uh, we lost both our bookends, uh, deep, our pass rushers, which really put a bind on our secondary to, to cover longer. Uh, so it was a lot tougher on us. So, and losing Dan for five weeks didn't help either. So that, that's always tough when you're having injuries at key positions. And we had those last year. Uh, and we're looking to reload again. Uh, we've always done a good job of finding talent like we are here today. And we usually find one or two guys from these that, are, that come in and compete. And some of them make the, the rosters like uh, Aaron Washington did last year, two years ago for us. And Ryan McDaniels a couple of years. So uh, we're always looking for good talent. Well, you know what? We're going to probably reload in a lot of positions. We're, we're going to get a lot younger. Uh, the league's moving that way. We're, we're trying to you know, bring some younger guys in for the league to expand. We know we're going to expand here in a, a couple weeks. Uh, we'll make some announcements with new teams and hopefully keep adding teams. So we need fresh faces uh, for the league, good young you know, you know, players. But you got to have those veterans in there too. That's always where it's at. You always see the teams that do well. And no matter where it's at, you have your veterans, whether it's seniors in college, whether it's uh, you know Brady's that been with teams forever, those teams always do well who have you know keep guys around with experience. So we're gonna have a good mix in there. You know that's the crazy thing is is everybody's a free agent. You know yeah we love to have Dan and Reynolds back, but you never know somebody you know somebody else may may pick them up. Uh, I don't know if they can offer them any better. Than what we're gonna offer them, but that happens. You know um, that's just kind of the, the nature of the business. But uh, you no, know, we feel like we've dealt you know good relationships with, with these guys over the years. So we get a lot of guys back. I mean, obviously the practice facility we have here, the, the other, you know, the apartments we stay in, everything's a really good situation. Our ownership, for guys to come back, they, it's easy for them to come back and play for us. So if they leave us, then they have a really good deal somewhere else. It means I've had a lot of good players. That's what that means. And, you, you know, if you're around long enough, you're going to start accruing some, you know, some stats. But, uh, you know, those, those will take care of itself, you know, whenever I'm done coaching and they, they can say what they want to. But, you know, it's all about my guys that, that I put on the field. And usually I've got some pretty good talent. And my ownership allows me to put good talent out there. You know, we're, we're always looking for speed. Um, and, and out here, it's, it's hard to find it because this turf is, you know, kind of slow. Um, but, you know, you guys stand out. There's always three or four guys in every position that stand out. So, you know, there's nothing that we're just like, we've got to have this. You know, there's so many other leagues now that we can, you know, kind of poke some of those guys from other teams and, uh, and take those guys and bring them in if they had really good stats from those teams. So and we have a few of those guys here from other, you know, or other leagues to, to try out for us today. So, um, you know, our, my goal is to have basically two good veterans at every position and then add a rookie behind them, you know, and let them compete, you know, and, and who the best man wins. That's, that's kind of how I do it. All right, fellas. I want to welcome you.
policymakers. Not the case. Not the case. We pull at least three to four guys every year to bring to camp. And usually one of those guys sticks on our team. So this is a great opportunity for us. There's not many organizations, not many other teams around in any facet of pro ball that can say that. We can. We bring guys into camp from these. So if you can play, you're going to stand out for us. And like he said, we have five other teams here to watch you. So if you don't make us, we have other leagues that are here watching. So this is a great opportunity for you. Hands down, it's the best opportunity you're going to get as far as playing professional football. Um, it's going to be real obvious to the eyes watching you who can play and who can't. Okay? You've got to trust that we know what we're doing. There's a lot of you out here. Okay? We're trying to weed it down to find the best players out here to make these teams. We are. We're going to find you. Okay? Um, we'll get your information if we feel like you can play. Other coaches will too. And take your name down. League starts soon. Um, we're expanding. Our, our league is expanding. Hopefully, obviously, right? We were down to a minimum team last year of where we wanted to be. We're starting to go to grow. We're in, by the end of the month, we're going to name some more teams coming in, and we're going to grow from there. The other leagues are growing. So it's here to stay. It's been around for 31 years now, so 32. So it's, it's here. It's a great game. I love it. I've played it for 13 years. I've uh, been coaching it for 9 or 10 or so. been here for 8. Love it. Just signed a three-year extension. Can't ask for a better organization. Can't ask for better owners. Can't ask for better fans. If you make this team, you'll love it. I promise you that. It's a great time. Um, we have a lot of talent here. We have some other leagues that here that brought some players. So you're going to see. Uh, if you're just here for the T-shirt, <laughs> great. Appreciate it coming out. Uh, we'll find that out real fast. Okay. We'll, we'll be able to see real fast who can play this team. Uh, what we'll do, I'm going to explain my little bit here. Kickers, how many kickers you got? Raise your hand. Okay? You guys don't need, I don't need to know how fast you are. I don't need to know how quick you are. Okay? Once we're done here, I don't need you to do the stretching. I need you back at 1130. Okay? That's when I'll work you guys out afterwards. All right? So, uh, once we're done here, kickers, I'll see you at 1130. And it probably won't be until noonish. After that, till we get going, but you need to get here and start getting yourself loose. Okay? Um, again, welcome. Let's make sure this is run properly. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. I'm going to introduce um, the best owner in the league, one of the best guys I know, one of the most enthusiastic guys I know. If anybody's ever said anything bad about Ron Jaworski, they don't know him. That man is awesome. Um, and you're lucky to have him in your area, in this state. And, uh, I'm proud to know him and uh, consider him a friend, Ron Gorski. Make our team. As I said, I said we will not accept the okay. Our coaches 
staff or our organizational, we have one goal. One goal, plain and simple, be the world champion in football. That's it. If we don't accomplish that, the season was not a success. That's just, that's the way we're wired. It's that simple. I'm not going to make excuses for how we're wired. That's how we roll, just like that. That's it. You're there now because we need you. We need to find some players here. I've been the owner for 15 years now. And I've stood in front of guys for 15 years like this. And each year, each and every year, you turn to coach, say, three or four guys will come out of here, got to kneel down right now, and be on an arena football league roster. Maybe not the sole, but other teams. Because we have coaches and scouts here from other teams and other leagues, they will see you. They will see what your talents are. So you're going to get that opportunity. That's the beauty of these tryouts. And not only have players come to the camp, the tryout camp, invited to our training camp, made the team, I've had players go to the NFL, to this group right here, to the National Football League from the same spot you are right now. By the way, there's, raise your hand if you're wide receiver. National football, you probably know the name Adam Thielen, right? This guy's tearing it up right now, man. He's tearing it up. He was an undrafted free agent. Went to a tryout camp. This guy's like one of the preeminent receivers in the NFL right now. So, guys, there are opportunities. Take advantage of the opportunity. I'm always going to be on you today. Give it everything you have. Don't cut yourself. If it doesn't, if you drop a ball, if it's a receiver, but no matter what, don't let, let these guys decide how good you are, what kind of career. Give it everything you've got. So when you walk out of total turf today and you've gone through this combine style workout, you say, Man, I laid it on the line today. I laid it on the line. So you can walk out with your chest sticking out and your chin high that you gave it everything you had to make it in professional football. And by the way, last year as you put the bar you made, Play association that leads them into place. The money now in the arena football league, I get it, guys. You gotta, you gotta be paid, you know? You gotta make some cash, too. We're paying guys a pretty good salary right now. So there's now a better opportunity for you to raise your family, to have a better way of, of life for yourself personally. So always think of that. Take care of yourself and your family as well. With that, I'm gonna wrap it up and say, hey, from the bottom of my heart, man, because I love guys like you. You're coming out and living the dream. Good luck and make it happen today. Jaws, first of all, you gave a quick pep talk speech out there to the trainees at the open tryouts. Uh, you stressed that good is not good enough. We have to be great. Uh, can you kind of expand on that and you know give us an idea of what the mentality is moving forward this season now that you're not the defending champs anymore? You nailed it. I don't need to say anything. We weren't we weren't the champions last year. And uh, it starts today building a team to be the champions in 2019. Um, since 2003, when I got involved in the Arena Football League, our goal has always been to be the world champion, not to be okay, not to make the playoffs. The ultimate goal was to be the very best of what we do. Good is the enemy of great. So our goal has always been to be the world champions. Last year we were not. None of us are happy about it. As you heard me tell these guys, we're looking for players right now. We weren't good enough last year, and when you're not good enough, you make changes. And it starts today. As far as what we look for, you know, the coaches determine that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the eyeball test is really, really yeah. important. You know, you see guys run. You see how they react. You see how they catch the football. Um, it, you know pretty quickly if the guy has professional football level. Like, we've got guys from the high school ranks, the collegiate ranks, uh, and they aspire to be in professional football. And, and some of these guys are in great shape. Uh, some of them are here for a free t-shirt <laughs> yeah. and it just happens every year and I don't mean that sarcastically but they're they're really not in shape to be a professional football player or have the skill set but I always I always applaud those guys because they're they're living the dream hey, at least they're giving it a shot I'm very bullish on on where the arena football league is is, is growing uh, mm -hmm. and going you know last year we only had four teams within the next 30 days we'll announce more teams coming into the league We'll announce a long-term strategy to really grow the league in a very big way. Um, our 
home was in Las Vegas, our league mm -hmm. office home for many, many years. Uh, since we are now Northeast-centric, we wanted to have our league office you know, in our backyard, Washington, Baltimore, Albany, Philadelphia. And as we grow, we will grow the Northeast, East Coast first, and then start moving out West. So, But we needed to get everyone aligned in the same building in the mm -hmm. same city so mm -hmm. you know now every single day our staffs are together you know the commissioner uh, randy bow is in in washington he gets on the train and comes up you know uh, once a week for our meetings and you know we have we really have a, not only a, a terrific short-term plan but i think a very strategic long-term plan uh do you see legalized sports gambling as a way to rekindle interest in the league Oh, there's no, there's no doubt. Gaming is, is, is a major part of sports right now. Um, it was interesting. I was in London over the weekend for the Eagles Jaguars game, and you see these wagering parlors, it, you know, in Wembley Stadium. You know, you see them on all the, the street corners. And gaming has always been a part of the fabric over in, in the UK, and now with legalized gambling now here in the United States, uh, people are are, are going to wager on games, and that means they're going to watch the game. And people love football. Everyone knows, you know, hey, hey, the, the NFL betting is that's where the majority of betting is done. Mm -hmm. But we are football. And I think once people get to know that you can wager on arena football league games, that means more eyeballs on our game and we can grow the game. They're getting amped up and, and start cranking up their training regiment and getting to it. And then training camp will start in March. And, yeah. you know, then it'll be time to go. So, I mean, we got the right guys. We got the right coaches, the right ownership. I know that, like I said, they're going to do the right thing, and we're going to come back with a, with, with a great mindset. You know, football is the most unique team sport there is. It really is. You know, it, it takes a whole team to to accomplish a goal, and when one or two pieces aren't clicking, it really kind of have a, a big effect on the whole. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for guys who don't just, you know, like you said, contribute on the football field, but you got to get along off the field too. You spend so much time together, traveling and practice and training room and gym. And, uh, you know, just everything you do, meals, all that stuff. We do it as a family. So you, you know, one of the goals is, is to come together and put a good product on the field. But you got to gel and mesh off, off the field too, because when you develop that trust and accountability, it makes you know going out there and playing easy. Get off the field. It's it's small. It's candy. It's, yeah. Yeah. All our coaches and you know our whole staff here. You know, uh, you know, big up to these guys coming out here. And, and doing this. I know it takes a lot of courage and effort to come out here and showcase your talent in front of people, but yeah, you know, we've got guys who have been in the, the heat of the moment and, and know what it looks like to be an arena football player. And you can tell pretty quick, so, you know, these guys are out here having fun and we're just doing our best to, to contribute to them and give them a good experience. And, you know, if they fit the bill and are able to, you know, contribute, you know, we'd love to have them and, and we encourage all their help. I would love to be a coach. You know, this game has provided so much for me and, I would love if this this game can expand and, and grow, and you know one day be a head coach or a general manager in this league. But I, I still like throwing touchdowns and winning championships first. So we're going we're to do that till the wheels fall off. This, this this is good stuff, and uh, these guys are having fun. Sense. We have to get a piece every single time. All right? Go on that side.